not No, but I'm just saying like I don't know my my work ethic is like it's I have a really what's the word? I don't I can't even think of the word. I think, you know, I have no room to to screw up. <laughs> you know. I can't say, oh, well, you know, I, I, you, as an adjunct, you can't even forget to bring, I mean, you carry everything with you. So you have no office? Not that I'm aware of. Even if there was a communal one, I, I can't imagine that it would be um, in particularly well. <laughs> I've met that, I've met with students, um, I've met with students off campus, or I've met, I met with them at the library. The college, but there, no, I, I wouldn't, you know. You wouldn't do that. To no, no, because it's a bunch of cubbies, and it's it's actually awful. I, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking when I took when I started doing this. So yeah, how did you get involved? How did I start this? Yeah. Do you mind if I turn the light on? Is that okay? Um, yeah, sure, it's right there. I know I hate lights on during the daytime. But if you need it, it's okay. Just a little bit. We can turn it. It's not gonna do much. There we go. No, just Is that a better? Lot. Oh yeah. Did a lot. Okay. So. Okay. I guess I should sit up straight. I can hear my daughter. Sit up straight, Mom. Sit up straight, Mom. So what are you going to do with all these? Make a movie? Yes. I was running out the uh, storyboard and the narrative today. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. How cool. Well, I mean, I wouldn't have taken this job if I, if I didn't believe. If I didn't believe I was doing the right thing. Yeah, I, I always try to do the right thing, I guess. I guess that's why I did it, too. I thought this was a community college. Right, you mentioned that earlier. And you mentioned that that word was totally skewed in, in the midst of higher education. You didn't believe it. I think that's how you expressed it. I did. I, you know, I, I, I always thought that community colleges were, you know, part, part of the local infrastructure. You know, there to support students and, and, you know, sort of get them, give them a foundation, give them something that they needed, you know, without having them to spend, you know, millions of dollars, go away to school. A lot of them weren't prepared for that. This sort of give, give the, gave them a place to, like, you know, land and then gain confidence and get skills and strategies and then maybe go on to a four year or many of the students I teach are like in the automotive department a lot of guys are in the fire science um, to, um, yeah, fire science uh, program what else you know HVAC guys you know so you know they're, they're all they really need is a two year degree you know they're not um, they're not in line to for their PhD anytime. Exactly. You know, they're they're there to they take some liberal arts courses because it's mandatory, so there a lot of them are in my English comp classes or my public speaking classes, but I don't know. So you can't just do this with your iPhone? You know I've done it. Have you? Um, I don't think I'm not getting the group. Uh, and the qualities is good, but it like, seems like uh, that's what everybody uses these days for everything. Yeah. See what that looks like. I'm not sure I like that too much. I should go see what my hair looks like. It looks good, actually. <laughs> You're not gonna tell me it would look bad. I've got a sister and a mother, and I let's not even have let's not even have that conversation okay. <laughs> because ultimately. Um, um, yeah. I don't know. All right, Tuni, you've got to try to be really, really good. It's okay. You're a good pumpkin. All right. She is good. So, so tell me how you um, tell me how you, you were how you started at the community college system. 
How did I start? Um, so, just so I, I want to preface it. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to edit out all. This is a shotgun mic. So okay. it won't even matter. It won't, all right. won't even matter. Uh, you want me to tell you how I started there? I, I got involved in... Oh, I've taught special ed off and on for years. Um, worked at Concord High. Is, so let's just, I'll make it a little easier. Why don't we just, we, we'll just say, uh, you can just tell me your name. Okay, my name is Ann Clune. <laughs> How long have you been teaching at, um, um, so I, let's just, my name is Ann Clune, I've been teaching at blank for blank, and I teach blank. You want me to do it that way? Okay, my name is Ann Clune. I teach um, at the in the community college system in, in uh, New Hampshire. You can just look towards me. So in New go, Hampshire? Go one more time. My name is Ann Okay, my name is Ann Clune. I teach uh, in the community college system of New Hampshire, primarily in Manchester. I've taught in Nashua, a few classes in Concord, and I also teach in Laconia uh, for seven years. Seven years. Mm -hmm. With one year off in New Orleans. Okay. Yay, New Orleans! <laughs> Yay, that was, Nola! <laughs> that, was, that was paid time off, right? I worked. Oh, I worked for a year. Yeah. No, yeah, I didn't just go down to, you know, go to Mardi Gras. No, right, I went right. down to work. Of course, that's what I would go down to. No, I was down there working. I was down there teaching. Um, so, have you ever had to make uh, any type of personal sacrifice to ensure the success of your students? <coughs> would she, will she uh, get upset if I pick her up? No, she'll absolutely love it. Okay. Um, yeah. Like what? Tell me. Uh, Give me well, an example. Have you ever had to, you know, oh, oh come here, sweetie. There we go. Yeah, give me some context. Sure. So, Craig has, um, Craig's had to, uh, like, try to find a new car um, when his old one bro broke down, um, but he did it to make sure that uh, his students could, could get the uh, advising that they needed, right? So, um, you know, he, I guess he requested a loan, um, and, you know, without it, he, <laughs> from the college, and they denied it flat out. Oh, really? For, just for a car, just, just, you know, like, like, something like, you know, menial. Um, and he couldn't, uh, and they, they said no. Uh, they wouldn't like, even entertain it. Yeah. They wouldn't even yeah. acknowledge it. Yeah, so, Craig's had to, you know, sacrifice his car because he buy, he had, he, the only car he can afford is something that is you know about to run down, so he buys the car. It's got 145,000 miles on it. It's leaking oil, whatever, right? It breaks down. How am I supposed to teach my students? All right, I'll take out a per. He took out a person. He took out personal loans like that. To me, that is real sacrifice. Um. Because they're not. I mean, that's risk, and in some ways, it's sacrifice. But they, they don't care. Well, why would they care? Why should they care? All they care about is. Are you teaching a body. students? Yeah. Are you a body? Can you do this job? Great. Bye. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it. Here's the books. Don't don't keep in touch. <laughs> you know, don't 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 call. Don't make any waves. Don't ask when you're going to get paid. Um, personal sacrifices. Um, I can't say that I have. I mean, but I feel like I'm, I I always try to go beyond. If you know, if a student's really struggling, I'll offer to meet them somewhere. You know, I'll. I'll, I'll go the extra mile, you know, I'll email all the time, or I used to give up my phone number, but I don't do that any, any longer. Um, like, let's say, a, like a holiday, or have you had to pass over on other jobs? I've given up other jobs, which I What's felt that? like I wish I didn't. I, I got offered a job at Concord High as an ESL tutor, and it would have been um, 30, like, I think it was 32 hours, which entitles me to benefits. Concord High School has, a, there's a union for paraprofessionals. And um, I mean, I had to make a decision immediately whether I was gonna take, the vice principal called me, he said, you know, we'll give you the job. And I said, could you just give me a little bit of time to figure it out? Because I sort of had committed myself to the classes coming up in the fall and I was trying to figure out my schedule, what I could do. And he said, I need to know right now. And I was just trying to say, well, you know, I'm teaching, you know, how am I going to do this? I just needed a little time to figure it out. And I lost the job. Because I, personally, I, I would have taken the job at Concord High. It's right up the road. And taught a few classes. 
if, if I if I could have managed it. I didn't know how I would manage it. And so what kind of picture? I felt I felt really I felt committed. I felt much more committed to them than than they to me. I mean, I was like, okay, I saw, you know, I get we get a we get an email saying, you know, tell us what classes you want to teach in the fall. And I send that back and I say, okay, here, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, it's, it's sort of how it's been working until all the, until they started limiting how many credits we could teach. And before that, it was sort of like, okay, I can, you know, teach four classes, that's all right. You know, because I, I, I also used to have private students to supplement my income, you know, and. And so now you don't have any I have no, jobs. no, no. No, I and you know I was able to sometimes, you know, pick up tutor um, special ed at Concord High School also, but those jo jo those and the Title One jobs, ev everything's really dried up. You know, there's just not. And why is that? Well, they're pretending there's no money, you know, no money for education. Why is that? Yeah, cut, 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 cut. Didn't President Obama come here four years Well, ago this is, you know, and what's, what's, yeah, what's interesting is that I kept hearing in all of his speeches and, and all, you know, everywhere, community colleges, we've got to invest in our community colleges, we have to invest. I'm thinking, oh, I'm in the right place. Not the right place because I'm going to make a million dollars, because we're doing something good. And this is really what the community needs. And we're going to give kids the tools and the strategies they need to move forward. And most of, and I have to say, you know, all of my colleagues, though I don't really know them that well, everyone seems to be committed, working hard, giving the students what they need. You know, I don't know anybody standing in front of a class smoking cigarettes and, you know, pouring themselves a martini and talking about how great they are. No, you know, it's like, okay, we're going to get through this class, and, you know, we're going to build your confidence, you're going to learn to write better, you're going to learn to speak better. You know, this is what we need, you know. We need a interdisciplinary, well-rounded student. I don't know, maybe I made this all up in my head. Because I'm not hearing it when I go to these mandatory adjunct meetings. What do you mean mandatory adjunct meetings? Oh, we have, we have to go to one in the fall. Every fall. Is that an orientation know. thing? Yeah, okay. but we're not paid for it. We don't get, you know, you're not paid for it, but, you know. So they can't really say it's mandatory, so they use some other euphemism, you know. Um, and we go, and we, and then we're told how we have to change our syllabus um, to um, how quickly we're going to respond to a student's email. Um, that doesn't make any sense to me. Let's talk about that for a minute. What does that mean? Um, Help me understand. They have, um, they wanted us um, on one of our, I don't know, maybe it was this year or the year before, they wanted to make sure that we put, in, put it on our syllabus that we would, um, if a student emails us, that how long will it take us to get back to them? Why is that important to them? Because um, it's customer service. Because so, students are consumers. They're not students anymore. They're consumers. They're here to consume. What are they here to consume? Um, 